let us derive the mirror equation in the case of concave mirror so we are looking at the concave mirror now but the same equation can be used for the convex mirror provided we you we apply the correct sign conventions and the sign convention would be the topic of our next class so very very important definitely subscribe to this channel but today let us just uh, focus on the concave mirror and try to derive the uh, mirror equation for this case for this particular case so we have placed an object o here uh, and the height of the object is h the magnification of the object would be the height of the image divided by the height of the object so the image is formed uh, at this point i at a distance of v the object is placed at a distance of u uh, from the, the mirror the object uh, the, the image would appear at a distance of v uh, from the pole of the mirror the height of the image is h dash so that is the setup now what we have done is that we have done some ray tracing and we have taken two rays okay so two uh, from the various principal rays that we have available we have taken two rays which start from the top of the object the first ray strikes the pole of the mirror and it goes back at the same angle of reflection as was the angle of incidence so that was theta in uh, both the cases the second ray uh, goes through the center of curvature and it strikes the mirror at an angle of 90 degree therefore the angle of reflection would also be 90 degrees that is it will retrace its path back through the center of curvature and go back here the these two intersect at this point so we know that this is our uh, image and the h dash the height of the image h dash and everything is uh, would be at this point this point i now we consider the two triangles this uh, large triangle right here the large red triangle right here and this smaller yellow triangle right here okay so this yellow triangle and we write 10 theta for this both these uh, triangles okay so i am writing it here so tangent theta would be equal to opposite side okay so for this yellow triangle it would be opposite side which is h dash divided by the adjacent side or the base and the base would of course be v now same thing we apply to the large triangle here with height h so this will be h and the base would be op or u okay so with this we can eliminate this 10 theta we don't need it anymore h dash by h would come out to be v by u now that is the first thing of course the problem here is that we do a small correction to this just to reflect the fact that h dash is going in opposite direction it is inverted as compared to the object it is going in opposite direction so object is erect whereas the image is inverted to reflect that fact i add a negative sign here to this magnification okay so this negative sign comes because of the sign convention and all the sign conventions we'll study in the next class so there is no problem now let us move on to uh, with our derivation and now consider this triangle right here with angle alpha and this smaller triangle right here again with angle alpha we can write for these two triangles the tangent alpha is equal to h upon oc and what is oc it is u minus r and in this smaller triangle the tri tangent alpha is equal to h dash of course because h dash is in opposite direction we put a negative sign here and then this is the base ci in this smaller triangle and ci is nothing but uh, this v, this r minus v so with this i can write h dash by h is equal to so h dash by h would come here this will become v minus r upon u minus r and this is nothing but minus v by u okay so this h dash by h i got from this equation i also got an h dash by h uh, from this equation and those two h dash by h i can i can cancel so now i am focusing only on this equation this new equation that i got okay and if you were to simplify uh, this equation you will get 
on one side you will get 1 upon or 2 upon r is equal to 1 by b plus 1 by u okay so you can simplify this equation all all we need to do uh, is we need to so let's just do it so that uh, there is no confusion so this becomes minus v u okay so i'm taking u on this side and this becomes u r is equal to v is here v u and this becomes minus R V. So this minus R V I, I take on this side. So this becomes U R plus V R is equal to this V U and this V U will add together and becomes two V U. I divide all the terms by U, V, and R. Okay, so that is what I am doing. I am dividing all the terms with U v and r u v and r and if i simplify it further what do i get this will become 1 by v plus 1 by u is equal to 2 upon r okay so that is the final equation that we get okay in the exam you don't have to write the intermediate steps if there if you are short on time you can simply from here you can write simplifying this equation we get this as I was doing before but since I wanted to illustrate how we got to the answer uh, I have just solved it for you and this is the final equation the mirror equation most most important and this is in terms of radius of curvature now let us try to find the mirror equation in terms of focus and in the process we will define the focus itself so we have seen that 1 by u plus 1 by v is equal to 2 upon r that is our mirror equation now what happens if my object distance which is u okay so this is the object distance u it becomes very very large okay this is the object distance u and it approaches infinity it, the object i am taking away from mirror slowly and gradually what would happen as this object moves further and further away from the mirror this one by u uh, becomes very very small and slowly and gradually this 1 by u it will approach 0 thus i can say that if the object is placed at infinity 1 by a, 1 by v is equal to 2 by r but this image distance v by definition in this case is actually nothing but my focus so when the object is placed at infinity the location where the image is, is formed is defined as the focus of the mirror so i can see that this uh, v in the case when the object is at infinity is nothing but the focal length of the mirror rho by r in other words again very very important relation f is equal to r by 2 that is the focal length of a mirror is always half the radius of curvature this is my radius of curvature half of it this is the focal length okay by definition this would be the case and this point is of course known as focus so now i can write my mirror equation in the terms of focus and this becomes both of these equations in the terms of focus and in the terms of radius of curvature both of them are very very important and we will be solving numericals based on this equation uh, with two lenses mirror and lenses combination so definitely subscribe and of course you also need to practice the problems on doorsteptutor.com do, do not forget to practice the problems thank you